Hello, this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. Today is August 22nd, 2020. And today we are going to talk about saving stock flower seeds. And it's pretty simple, so let's get right into it. Now, for your stock flower plants, by the time they're ready to be done with the season, on the stem, you're going to notice that these green bean pod looking things are going to show up they're going to be completely green then they're going to turn a little bit brown and then they're going to be completely completely dry i would say wait until they are completely dry completely brown like this one before you start taking them off the stem because once they are brown like this um, that is the signal to you that the seeds inside the little pods are ready to be harvested. Now, you can take one little seed pod at a time. However, I don't like to do that. I like to take out the whole plant and then remove the pods and put them into a plate. And I'll show you that right now. All right, and as I mentioned, I like to take out the whole plant and then remove the seed pods from the stem. So on this plate, I have two plants that I took out and I hope you can see the two plants that I have are absolutely loaded with seed pods. So I'm gonna take a few just for demonstration, just to show you how I remove the seeds from the little seed pod. One quick note about the seed pods, they have two pockets of seeds. So what I like to do is grab my seed pod and start at the end where it was connected to the stem, give it a slight bend, and as you can see, the top does pop open. You just help it by peeling it back and your seeds are going to either automatically fall out. And if they don't, you can most definitely help them out. You're going to turn that seed pod, slight bend, and then open the second pocket to remove the seeds from that seed pod. And as you can see, each pocket has a couple of seeds. Let's try one more. Starting at the end where it was connected to the stem, you're going to give it a slight bend. And as you can see, it will pop open for you. And if it doesn't pop open completely, you can help it out. So just open it up and your seeds are gonna pop out. If they don't, you're more than welcome to help them out. They're very easy to pop out. They're not stuck to the little seed pod since the little seed pod is completely dry. We're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing for the second seed pocket. And as you can see, each pocket has a couple of seeds. So you're going to harvest a lot of seeds from just a few seed pods. And let me show you what these seeds look like. They're kind of like a little bit orangey brown. Um, if they are completely black, that's fine. But they're, if they are green or a pale brown, most likely they will not germinate for you. Now, I like to call seeds the memory of the plant because when you collect seeds from your garden, that little seed is holding information like what type of environment was the plant growing in? What type of nutrients was the plant growing in? And what type of struggles did the plant have when it was growing so when you harvest those seeds from your garden the seed has that information in my opinion so when you plant it for the next season your plant will be stronger it will be healthier and in my experience it will be more productive now i have been harvesting stock flower seeds for a very long time and every time i plant the seeds i collected the year before i am so amazed at how healthy and happy and productive the plant is 
for the following year because the seed again in my opinion is the memory of the plant and it's very simple as you can see to collect the seeds and the seeds will hold i have had stock flower seeds hold for me for about three to four years i would say the marking point would definitely be three years so i hope you guys try saving your stock flower seeds because it is definitely something great to have under your belt collecting your own seed it definitely does save you money and again it holds a little bit of memory of what the plant went through before it produced its seed and when you plant that seed you harvested then that seed creates a bigger healthier more productive plant in my opinion if you have collected stock flower seeds let me know in the comment section down below if you have another technique to save them also let me know and if you guys have any questions please go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below or you can always reach me at my email which is listed in the description box i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you give seed saving a try whether it be stock flowers tomatoes or any other type of vegetable well guys that's it from little beans garden thank you very very much for watching hope you have a great day and as always take care